you how to clean ribs, marinate, and how to bake. First, put some cornstarch or any kind of flour you have at home. And then I will use salt. I, you can use normal salt. Any kind of salt or salt, sweet salt. I use my own salt because my salt is pink. So it's okay. Any kind of salt is fine. Next is you need to rub add some water and then rub rub like this or even massage and then rinse rinse until it rinse guys is like this oh this one sorry down you can see the shiny the shiny here we just pull it out see see easy yeah you need to remove this this is not good just like protection of the me so you need to remove very easy yeah Ooh. and one more next step guys is add some ketchup um, make it um three tablespoon or make it four because I have four ribs that's fine. Four tablespoons of ketchup, any kind of ketchup. And next is barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce is also four tablespoons. Just the second, third, and lastly. I just have enough barbecue sauce so any kind of barbecue sauce you can use cheap one expensive one that's fine and the next is poison sauce poison sauce is the same one two three four four tablespoons is it a lot? No, it's fine because this one is not really salty. This is perfect marination. And I want to have a sauce of my ribs. Now marinate. I think it's better to marinate with your with your hand, I guess. More tasty if you use your hand. Anyway, my hands is clean. That. See the sauce? You don't need any salt or any soy sauce, just those three ketchup, barbecue sauce, and hoisin sauce. That's a Chinese condiment. So, see, it's ready, and the color is so nice. So, you can marinate this at least half hour if you want to cook it soon but then for me I want to marinate overnight 
more tasty and yummy. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you will follow my way of marinating my ribs. Mm, so nice color. You bake the ribs at 230 degrees Celsius for one hour. Ribs are cooked. Nice. Thank you. Let's cook some of the sauce. So just pour on top the sauce onto the ribs. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.